hi there and welcome back so today i am um doing the pile of uh stuff that i'd got in in a tub what was this stuff that we sit we score we fold uh because we've had an idea and then we put it to one side and then we find it and we go hmm what was i thinking um so <laughs> i did one last week and um, yeah, I'm going to do another one this week. And I'd also got a pile of botanical um, printouts from last year. And I have banned myself from printing out any botanicals. I can print out anything else, but no more botanicals until I've used uh, this pile. Because I've just got, you know, oddments of, of sheets. And I mean, I, I'm a little bit... I mean, could we say like OCD with uh, kits? I don't have to use the same kit throughout, but the tones have got to work uh, for me. And if they don't, then then I can't I can't mix them. Um, I mean, I'm I'm iffy about about this one, which I probably won't then use because I don't know tone wise it doesn't go. So it's not that I don't like using different kits in a project um they've just got to have the same colors um so that's what what we're doing today but first let's let's light light the candle so hi my name is tanya from tatty treasures i hope everybody is doing well and if you are new then welcome aboard it's always nice to have uh, new people joining us even if it's just for a one-off visit but if you do want to come back um don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications um i do leave most things down in the description you can normally find uh links to all the playlists that i've mentioned kits i put i won't um do these kits because i mean that's from a kit that's a kit that's a different kit and that's a different kit um and i know these two are victoria designs um, but I'm not sure which which ones and I, I, I think this is called Whimsical Adventure. I am not sure where where I got this one from at all. Um, also, where, ways to uh, find, find me. We've got a Facebook group which you're more than welcome uh, to join. We do have some challenges um, going off and um, some fun fun posts so if you want to be part of that even if you don't want to join in on the challenges you might want to see what other people are making then uh come and come and join us there's just um don't think there's is there any questions no you just need to to be approved i think yeah i think it's just approved yeah i don't i think i took the questions the questions out um i think it just says will you um have you read the rules uh, and you just have to tick that and then somebody well tiffany tiffany is our approver uh, so tiffany will um approve you and tiffany is from bluebird creations all the rest of uh, the mods uh, justine denise kelly um they all have their own channels same as kelly and um by now we might have a new moderator, but um, I'm not gonna name name a yeah just in just in case. Um, so yeah, we we might have a, a new moderator who's gonna help uh, Justine because we all have our little um, you know our little tasks uh, what we what we do. So um, yeah, come and join us. Um, also, there's links on. Uh, where to um donate if you want to help help the channel out and um help me keep creating uh free free content i've also an affiliate link for amazon uh so i've got a shop storefront which i do make a small commission and i've also got an affiliate link for 
stationery pal again if you use my links i do make a small commission i think i think that's it and if you are a returning subscriber then hello and uh yeah welcome welcome back it's always nice to to have you back don't forget to chat to me in the comments let me know what you're up to what's the weather like <laughs> have you got an holiday planned Right, shall we get on? Let's um, <laughs> let's read. Uh, today is the 9th of March. Love this one. To find wisdom, one must first discover silence. Now, I'm not very good at silence. Um, not when I'm with people. I am very, you know, talk, talk, talk. But I really do um, love being on my own and um, and being silent. There's, um, yeah, there's a lot to be said about silence. Right, five minutes in. <laughs> let's let's start. Okay, so the papers that I've chosen are, are portrait papers. No, they're not. The landscape papers which means to do um, any kind of uh, file folder or folio, they're too too short. Now, sometimes I've done things like collaged um, old book pages, like ripped them up and, you know, done a border like that um, and then put the image in the middle. That works fabulous. Um you could also, you know, do a lot of stenciling and stamping uh, around the middle and just use these panels. Uh, today, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually just going to cut the folder down uh, to match match the papers. If, you know, this is all about using using these up. If, um, if, if I was doing, you know, a whole project, um, I, I would probably uh, put put ripped paper round it so let's find out how how i'm um, how how high these are um and then we can can cut this folder down so it is just under eight so if i cut these down to eight what are they now right so um, I'm not going to get the big trimmer out. I'm going to do it on the little trimmer. And I'm just going to have to use my uh, ruler as, um, as a guide. So if I put this up this way, it doesn't matter which way um, I cut it. So that's about eight. Let's... Um I'm going to say I thought the table might really wobble. So it's just over eight, which is fine. It's not too far. Yeah, that's that's lovely. So I don't want that little bit because um, I have got bits here, which um, I don't, I've not got a clue what, what I was doing uh, with them. So let me measure and give you these measurements because I just put this together from one of those document uh, wallets. You could do this with a cereal box or or whatever. Now we've got loads of score lines. I'm not sure what's what's what and who's who. It'll be one of those things that I've just sat playing with. Um, I think that really needs to go in because I'm guessing this is a spine um, for some papers. So if I went with that spine, I don't think I would go with all that, would I? No, I think. So. That goes into there. So I'm thinking that I would be going with that spine there. Let's, let's check. What's going on? There's spines everywhere. I think I'm ignoring those spines then. Am I going with this spine? I don't even know what's happening right about now. Um, hmm. Let me pause and... Oh, hold on. I've got this upside down. No, that makes no difference. Was I doing it as a... Oh, I might have been doing it with um, a staggered opening. I'm pausing my thing. Okay, I've got it. It wasn't complicated at all. Right, so this is the middle. And it just closes like that way. I'm, yeah, I don't know what I was uh, 
thinking i tell you as soon as something doesn't look right my head cannot cope with it so that that is it so it's a wide spine for but yeah well we'll go with that so in total it is it's obviously eight and it's by 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 and a half. And I've just folded them like, like so. So you wouldn't even have to have, because I mean that folds and folds, um, you wouldn't even have to have it uh, that long. So when it is like this, the front is like five and nearly six so just over five and three quarters okay um but yeah just just sit and fold some paper up and and um and see what happens so let's um i'm gonna pause and i'm gonna ink um all around it i'm going to ink every single nook and cranny and crease so see in a tick Okay, so it's all inked around. Now, I would like this one um, on, on the front. So, um, what did I say it was? It's, let's say, five and three quarters. So, let's go from there. Oh, yeah, that's that's about right. So, if I cut it, cut it at the end of that, that music... So I did have to redo a project um, last week. I had a video um, what got corrupted or something. Um, so I had to film another part and I did do them with these leftover uh, papers. So I have, I have managed to, to use some some more up. So I will just keep going until till it's gone. If I run out of bases, I'm sure I can fold fold something something else up. So we can see that that just wants wants a bit a bit more off. I'm gonna go this in <coughs> this side uh, to keep keep that music. So look at that. Yeah, that fits. Hard to, yeah, just want some off, off the bottom too. I think I'll take it from the from the top because I like that that little bit at the bottom. Ooh, don't, don't have to straight. Okay, so that's there. Maybe a touch, a touch more. Yeah, I'm just gonna go go a touch more and then. We'll have a look for one for, for the back. And then I can get the front and front and back on straight away. Don't let me forget, I want to put some seam binding um behind that. No, I mean we could go for that one because it looks a nice a nice back page, doesn't it? So yeah, I'll go go for that one. So I'll get this bottom cut off and I'll cut a little bit extra off. And see if see if I've got the right the right height. Maybe once a little bit more, and then I'll pause again, ink around them, because um, you don't want to see that. And I've waffled for for a good five minutes, so we need to we need to gain some some time back. So I'm going to take this white edge off, and then I'm going to take a little bit from from the other side. Cause I want to keep those those leaves. Let's see if they're, they're the same. Yeah, they're not bad. Seen a tick. Okay, I've inked those. So I want some um, lace or seam binding that will go with this. And I suppose we can use any colour as long as it's green. Oh, that would be nice. I think that's too thick. That would actually, I'm going to pull that out. That will go nice with um, oh, the graphics 45 that I'm doing. That's velvet, so we don't want that's velvet. This is very nice at the bottom. 
That's a nice green. I think if you saw any of the thingy, I think that would clash with, with that, to be honest. What have I just dropped? Oh, that's nice, but I don't know how I feel about grey screen being a, um, a closure for something. Oh, sorry. Oh. If that'd be white enough. I might go, go with that one. Right, let's pop these um, back in. Let's, um, let's just have a look. So if I get the halfway mark, and put that there. oh yeah, there's, there's plenty uh, there. So I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna try and, and tie it just just to keep it where where I want it. Okay, sorry if I've slid off the off the table a little bit. I'm just just tying it. Okay, I think that would be be perfect there and it's nice and flat and, and thin so it'll be okay under that paper and um, I think I'm just gonna tape it down with the, um, the craft paper tape that, that I use Um these screen file folders they're not file folders Um document folders they are on my Amazon favorites under paper and things and this craft tape is under bits and bits and bobs. All the inks I use are under inks. I have kind of tried to categorise um, things. Some things overlap, um, but yeah, I do. I do go in there quite often, and you know, make sure it's up to up to date and and what have you. Feel like I might just put a bit of glue um, right there, or let's just go. I don't know how far the paper's going to come, so if I go to about there, that's lovely. But yeah, I've got three or four of these all folded uh, differently, so I was definitely um, doing doing something. Okay, so let's um let's get these these on. Um I'm gonna use clout because I like it. <laughs> and um yeah, it's about four times cheaper than three and three and one. It's very, very similar uh to, to three and one in in my opinion. Um I do think three and one is does win uh with fabric um but cloud does stick fabric um but yeah i do, i really do like it especially you know for big big things and it gives you that nice wiggle time as well like the like the three and one does i'm always a bit scared to do things like this with the art glitter Are they, you know, in Eater's tacky glue, they seem to to grip very, very quickly. And I've not got the greatest of, you know, some people can just lay things straight, can't they? And and they've got that eye for for it. Um, I just haven't. I'm just a bit wonky. <laughs> I'm just a wonky donkey. That's all. Just a poor little wonky donkey. Anyway, let's get let's get this on. So 
let's pop that on there it looks as if the sun is shining um i'm not very far in in front with my videos at all i've had a pretty rubbish couple of weeks and i bet you're going yeah we know you've told us every single video and um i forget if i've said or or not um i know that you know that i've had it i've got a bad back and i've had a bad back on and off since last june um then it's sent to disappear uh for a bit and then um yeah then it's been a constant um and it's just gone on and on um and i did go to a chiropractor for so long um and he did actually say that i was wonky <laughs> um he, he said that i'd got uh one leg longer than the other because um of the way that i'd stood for years um so he kind of unwonked me <laughs> um and to be honest i could tell after i can't remember how many sessions i had with him about four or five um and i could tell that i was unwonked because um i felt taller uh it was crazy um and yeah, I sent fine uh, for a bit and I've kept up with, you know, being aware of how I stand. Um, and then, yeah, it's just started off off again. Um, so I had a couple of sessions with an osteopath. So that's uh, the front and the back. Lovely. Let's have a look in inside and see see what's what's what and who's who. So the reason I put uh, that behind is because I've got these flaps here, so I couldn't have gone with the you know eye hot um, eyelet in there because uh, I'd have gone gone through these. So this is gonna have some papers in here. Now I've, I'm going to put um, another layer of paper uh, down there to uh, reinforce reinforce it so let's go one and a half centimeters okay so let me mark this so all i'm going to do is mark this cut it down to the right height i'm looking for my pencil um i'll just get a pen i think my pencil's on the table somewhere and stick uh, this spine in so i'm telling you this now okay so start waffling and, and don't tell you what, what i'm doing so yes i've had a couple of sessions with the osteopath who's been doing acupuncture as well and um i must say that did oh where's one and a half centimeters i wonder if i wonder if it's that just that let me just go over you know, there's something wrong with every single trimmer that you have, isn't there? Like, it, I don't think it's the perfect um, one. But, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, and in the meantime, because, um, yeah, it's been very, very hard in, in the UK. I mean, I don't know if all doctors are the same, but uh, I think my doctors is probably one of the worst. But um, not in care or anything. I'm just not wanting to see uh, people. So it's been very difficult to get um, a face-to-face -face appointment. And, um, you know, it's not the kind of thing you can do over the phone or, um, you know, some things it's send a photo in, send a video in, um, have a phone call. So I'd kind of put it put it off. Um, and then I can't remember what I phoned uh, the doctor for. But, um, yeah, I, I mentioned it to him and I said, you know, I am going to an osteopath. He says, is a reoccurring? And he, he did make me a face-to-face -face appointment, which I did have to wait another two weeks for. Um, so, in the meantime, the osteopath said uh, she doesn't really want to see me until, um, you know, we know what the what the doctor's plan uh, kind of kind of is so he's given me that's better well it will be when it's dry he's given me a full um you know examination right that's there i don't know if i might put um eyelets in and do a, a book that that comes out we'll see so this bit i don't know if to have it as a flap out or stick it down and have it as a pocket but if you've got a journal there i think that's going to be quite 
I always do this as if like you're going to be, um, oh, small. so say a journal card came out that far. I don't know, I still think it would be difficult. So maybe I will have it as a, as a flap. So whatever, I need to cover this bit. So let's get that covered um, next. So that's got a nice image on this side. So rather than use that one, what we might not see. Um, I'll go go for that one. Um, so yes, is um, I'm waiting for an appointment um, to have some X-rays. But um, you know, I'd had some. I think that's why I'd spoke to the doctor. I'd had some full bloods um, done, and I was ringing uh, for for the results, which was all fine apart from um, I don't know what to do with this. One. So the spine's there. So if we go just under 14 and a half, watch your arm, Tanya. 14 and a half. Oh, so that's just under 14 and a half. So let's cut that down down there. Um, yeah, so he was like, well, your bloods are fine, apart from the cholesterol's a bit, a bit high, which um, I am... I have been slowly changing uh, my diet, um, getting rid of some things and introducing some things into it and making it a habit. Um, and he said, you know, they're all fine. So, um, yeah, and like I say, he, you know, felt around and, and stuff and, and asked me about it and so... Yeah, I'm gonna go and have some some X-rays. So um, yeah, I've been in not a lot of pain, but really just ache, ache, ache. Um, and it's just been really difficult to to move around, and um, it's it feels as if you know I'm carrying like a bag of bricks on me on my back uh, and I'm just really stiff and then obviously you know you're not wanting to move around because then it hurts and then with not moving around you hurt um so yeah that was all going off and I've I've had a cold in in the meantime um really bad sore throat and I had some um a few days of like some gastro problems as well so yeah the last few weeks i've i've hardly videoed um you know probably like one every other day and this is why i do like to be you know two weeks in in front because it does uh give you that that leeway so so yeah that's um that's why it's sunday and this is going out wednesday my goodness what a <laughs> Why don't you? Why don't you just say it? I've not been well? <laughs> Whew, it's took ten minutes up, Tanya. So yeah, you're up today. Uh, so I'm feeling, and you know, I've not, I've not been down. Um, the depression and anxiety sign does seem to have really, really lifted. Um, and I've not really, I've been frustrated about not being able to move around and stuff. Right, let's um think what we're going to do with this maybe we don't have to think yet shall we just do this one and then i think as things develop you can you can see a bit more can't you so i'm guessing this is the same kind of size Let's, which one does that bend on that one yeah so if i cut that yeah okay so i'm gonna cut this a dark well let me cut the bottom off um so yeah the mood has definitely um improved and um you know i was all um ready to go go back to work um i'd gone and had my hair cut like i've told you oh and i've had it colored i don't know if i've told you that um i went and bought some my outfits for work um and you know, I was getting myself mentally prepared for for going going back. Um, and I've, you know, I've been thinking that these issues would would have just you know eased off, and and they haven't. They've got worse. Um, 
so yeah i was at a point saying yeah i'm ready to come back and now i'm like mm, yeah I'm, I'm not um and now i don't feel like i can make any decisions until um until these x-rays have, have come back i haven't spoke to her yet so i'm not sure um I'm not sure how they're feeling about it, but uh, the doctor did give me another three weeks sick note. Well, I've had the sick note about a week now. Um, so, yeah, I've still got like two weeks, two weeks left, which I'm assuming I will have been for the x-rays, but I don't, I don't know if I'll be at the point where, you know, the results are back at the doctors and I've seen the doctor. So... I'm, I'm guessing I'm probably going to end up with a, with another sick note for about a fortnight after after that. So, I mean, then you're looking at April. I think they might be getting to the point where it's, um, you know, looking at maybe finishing me through through being, you know, physically unable to do to do my job. And it, if they do that, you know, that's fine because. Eventually, I'm, I'll be giving it up anyway. I only do the one day a week now um, because, you know, I do I do this full time and I've got two Etsy shops um, and stuff. So, uh, you know, I only do 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 one full full day a week. Um, and at some point this year, I was finishing anyway, um, and you know, jumping totally into uh, just working from home. Um, but yeah, I kind of mentally wasn't ready, uh, for it. Um, and I wanted, you know, to finish on, on my own terms, not really through, through sickness. But, um, yeah, if they have to finish me, then, then they have to finish me. And, um, you know, let, let, it, you know, oh, I don't know. Let it be. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to say. So that is that. I'm loving this. So we need to decide, is this going, because I could have a pocket there and I could have a pocket there. So I think I'm going to cover them. Now, have I got any coffee left? Because I've done that much talking, my throat's dry. Okay. Now I have got this um, landscape one. I'm just wondering. How much of that I could get. And I don't think I'm going to be able to. Not, you know, to get the best of the. So I'll put that back in my pile of um, to do. I hope I've got enough to to finish this. So I might, I think I'm going to have to put something down there. I don't know why I've cut that so, so wonky, but, but I have, <laughs> definitely is. Um, so, no, that would look odd, wouldn't it? That would go there, that would go there, so you would cut that bit off and then you would start again. So I could perhaps do that and break it through through the middle. I think I'm gonna put some tape on down there before I um before I lay this paper down. So yes, that that is that is that really. So I feel like I've not really been about um I've tried, you know, to keep up with watching videos and things. Um, and, yeah, just try to keep on, on top of um, making sure, sure I've got, got a video. And I miss it, you know, it's, it, it, it does, does me the world of God. Right, so I'm going to cut it. Let's measure. Haha, <laughs> let's measure. So that is nine. So I want it just under nine. Okay. So let's hope that's fine. 
Yeah, and it will need some of the length. Then that's gonna need that border off. Okay. And height wise, just want a bit off the bit off the top. So the days where I've felt okay-ish, um, I've not rushed in here um, and I've definitely not rushed to, to clean up. Uh, no hoovering has gone on in this house. Um, so yeah, I've still still tried to, to rest um, a little bit. Well... A lot. I don't know how I dare say a little bit. Uh, a lot. Even days where I felt okay and perhaps just come in here and do one video and that's it because I'm very aware that, um, yeah, I don't want to think, oh, yeah, I'm fine. And then, um, you know, overdo it because I desperately need to get this house cleaned. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to overdo it in the house and sitting here and then end up, you know, being being back at square one. And I think now um, I'm a bit like, well, if I've had x-rays, I, I don't really want to do anything too drastic because I don't know, yeah, I don't know what's going going off. Um, so, so, yeah, but I do find that very, very difficult because... I am used to, you know, days where I feel good, um, getting loads done uh, to compensate for days where, where I don't feel good. don't know why I've ended up with that um, thingy. Longer. I'll cut it off after. I can hear going because you're talking. <laughs> because you're talking away. Um, but, yeah, I feel like, um, because I've not been anywhere and... You know, I've not videoed so much. I'm a bit like, talk to me. <laughs> Got loads to say, let me let me tell you. Um, and, like, these are the times when, like, I really do miss miss my mum because, um, yeah, I'd have talked to her head off about it. Um, and, um, yeah, you, I just feel like I've got no kind of um, output for for that kind of um thing um i do tell me tell me auntie every now and again but like i could ring my mum up every day and moan, moan to her about it um like i don't want to do that <laughs> to my auntie because she's you know she's my auntie <laughs> it's a bit like i can't expect i mean i'm 50 i can't expect to just take parental responsibility for me and she's only nine years older than me because my mum uh, only 18 years older than, than me so um, yeah and you know Ryan just sees it as uh, she's she's nagging again because I don't know I, I seem to go on to, to nag mode um, and yeah I think all he can and um, you know I don't want to be too general but I, in fact I'm not going to say, say it but Ryan is if you tell him something, he's like, what's the problem? Like, what What do you want me to do kind of thing? It's very, like, as if it's got to be a practical... And it's not a practical thing. It's just I need... And I forgot to put that tape there, but I could put some lace there. Um, I just need um, somewhere to outpour it all. It's not about finding uh, solutions... It's it's about just getting it getting it off your um off your chest. I'm not liking this uh with this. So that's going back over there. So I've got one sheet and um eek <laughs> don't know how I'm going to share this share this out. So I'm going to pause and have a route through, uh see if anything else will, will go with it because I'm gonna need well I think I might have enough. I could do the same there, cut it into two. 
So I think you've seen enough of me cutting these down and sticking them. So I'm going to pause. And um, in fact, I'm going to do a part two. Um, so I will finish um, covering these. And then when we come back, um, we'll put some pockets in and what have you. And I do need some papers because um, I need to make some pockets and I want to cover them. Oh, I've got that piece as well. Okay, I'll see you. Well, I'll see you later tonight and uh, we'll decorate it. See you later. Bye for now. Thanks for listening. Sorry I'm moany. Um, yeah, but I'm fine. I'm fine. I just I just need to just get it off my chest. <laughs> I'm going to come back uh, a new me. See you later. Bye.